Welcome to the DMZ, where we work to complete the story mission Scatter by Shadow Company. The first objective has us taking out the Commander Hilo to extract some Kony safe house plans, then travel over to Ashika Island and flush out some guards so that we can then grab special intel off of them. Afterwards, we then have to make it out of PvP Island successfully. Make sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy. With us, we've brought in a old, reliable TAC-56 build. This thing right now is essentially the zero recoil gun of Season 5 Reloaded. Ever since the nurse to the hemlock, this is basically your next best go-to if you're looking for a low recoil, long range option. On top of that, we've brought in the Joker because you know this is the best thing to take down big targets like Commander Hilo. It's just gonna make that job a lot easier. We're also gonna kind of maintain high ground here and we're gonna work on taking this right as well because that's also going to again make it even easier for us to go ahead and take down that commander helo i've come pretty prepared i do have a stealth plate on in case we do have to get in any kind of engagement so that's something to keep in mind we're also a little bit low on ammo so we're going to want to stop at the store you know get ourselves an ammo box but for now we're okay Yeah, they're dropping reinforcements there. Pick up this ammo. We're not going to activate the SAM site yet because we need to wait for the Commander Hilo to spawn. I did also pick up a contract in case we want to get our extra streak going. It's not necessary, uh, but can be handy. Yeah, we're going to work our way over to this store. I'm definitely going to need some ammunition. Kind of taking a look. Since there's AI down here, you really want to use this kind of information as a solo um, to your advantage. Since I know that there's AI down here, it's unlikely that people came from Castle over to this store unless these AI were recently, you know, replenished, which I doubt. I didn't see any helicopters um, dropping AI in on my way, so that's just something to keep in mind. All right, we got plenty of ammo now, so we're looking good. What we're going to do is we're going to head all the way back up to high ground, just kind of glance around and see if the Commander Hilo has spawned yet. If you have troubles difficulty, if you have troubles locating the boss, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and run that intel contract so you can get a ping on the boss. Let's go ahead and zip back up. I like this area a lot too because I can maintain control of this UAV tower, keeping enemy players off of me while I try to work on doing my mission. It is also possible, of course, they could approach with a stealth plate, but usually I find that UAV towers tend to keep players out um, unless they're thoroughly prepared with a stealth plate or something of that nature. Okay. Let's see, all right, I don't see any helicopters flying around, which to my understanding, we would be able to see it from essentially any distance. this we don't need that out right now it's gonna help us just clear ai i think i just saw shots coming from castle but i'm not sure i'll have to verify that in a second i swear i just saw shots in front of me which could be an active combat zone but also could be players Seen any more shots? Hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. More shots. All right, airdrops are in. Oh, did I just see something fall over there. All right, airdrops. We can see those flying in. Ah, somebody took an exfil. That was probably. What we're looking for is that our boy? Cargo helo inbound. No, that's a cargo helo. Hmm. Doesn't uh. seem to be me up either. Uh. 
It's possible that he doesn't render from a certain distance, which means I'll have to kind of go wrong the map, which is fine. Oh, wait. Visual on a boss. There he is. All right, now that we got the hit on him. Ultra one, be advised, enemy attack helo is heading your way. I think we're actually just gonna pass on the Sam site. I should have shot that before um, fighting him, but I didn't, so that's my bad. It's okay though. We got a Joker, so we'll be fine. I do want to reactivate this, because again, I just don't want players pushing. There's an extra over here with a commander heal on top of me. This will attract a lot of players, potentially. So, definitely want to have this up and running. Play it up, use this piece as cover. Let's go ahead and get our reload off. We have an ammo box if we need more shots. It does take more than the initial six. Keep that in mind. You will need an ammo box if you plan to strictly use the Joker. You can always finish him off with your assault rifle, too, though. moving so much all right nobody on our uav tower so we're still in the clear looking good we already broke one wing so he should be dead soon two wings are broken probably going to be one or two more shots oh well it's going to take Just about do it. I'm gonna go ahead and reactivate this. Make sure no flares are coming. Looks like it's taken even more. He may have popped flares to avoid one of the missiles. All right, that should just about do it. We'll gun him down. Got to speed up the process. There we go. Beautiful, and the package landed right here for me. That is great. We're going to go ahead and loot this up, and through this we should be able to get the first mission item that we need. Um, and then after that we're actually going to have to change maps and go and head over to Ashika Island for the next part of this. So as you can see, that part checked off, so we're all good there. The reason I chose Vondel 2, some of you might wonder, you know, why don't you do all this on Ashika? Well, if you played Ashika enough times, you'd know that, you know, Ashika is a little bit of a nightmare. And I find that if you're trying to run the Commander Helo as a solo, doing it on Ashika is probably not your best bet. Only because um, what's going to happen is you're going to attract all the players in the map towards you. And on a hostile map like Ashika, that could prove to make your mission uh, pretty difficult. If I were to do it all on a Sheikah in one go, what I would personally do is go really PvP heavy, try to wipe everyone on the map, and then once things are clear, then take down the Commander Helo. You could try to be stealthy about it, but just imagine how long it took me to do that fight right there, right? 
If you're sitting there on a Sheikah Island causing all that kind of ruckus and you've played enough to know, you're gonna get you're gonna get hunted down. That's that's for absolute certain. Uh, you will definitely get hunted down, and so that's something you know you gotta keep in mind. Which is why I choose uh, to come over here for it. All right, we got enough plates. All we gotta do is worry about exfiling now. Close, so we'll make sure all guns are reloaded. I'll go and drop this down. Let's stow these. Looking good. We've got our safe house plans. Just gotta get out of here successfully. Ultra one. And pop this. Then immediately take high ground. You don't want to just stand around. So going for high ground when you pop an axe fill um, is definitely advised if you can. Uh, make sure though that when you're jumping back down to get in the chopper you don't uh, you know, hit the blades. Something uh, some of you may know I uh, have had a bad habit of in the past. <clears throat> but we don't need to talk about that. Let me use that high ground to scout around. See if there's enemy, any enemy players pushing. Yeah, the great thing is, too, you don't need these safe house plans after you extract. So once I'm done here, I don't have to come back. Um, you know, I don't need uh, to bring them to Ashika Island. So I only have to do this one time. And then we'll come to the Ashika Island portion. All right. Load in, smoke out the back, throw a couple nades. And we're good. All right, so... This spawn's super hostile on Ashika. The most hostile spawn of all, as these are basically the first two spawns, we're immediately going to swim and just get out of this situation. So, we have a UAV tower there. That's good because that'll probably attract all the PVPers over to that area, which is great because they'll just get out of my hair. Again, working to this building here. Map, staying safe, focused on the mission. Somebody scanned me, the drone. Popping UAV. Uh, two players exactly where I need to go. Probably friends, yep. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, since they hit me with a tracker, we're gonna go ahead and dip underwater. It looks like multiple players have their eyes on me. So we're gonna stay low, swim through over to here. They might be his teammates, I'm really not sure. This guy was by himself. These two are pushing, so they're pushing either because they hit me with the drone, um, or because there's teammate, or because of both. Now this guy looks like he's actually heading over to do the exact mission that I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna have to take him out. On Ashika, I'm not a friendly player. Everyone tends to be hostile here on average, so I don't really mess around with them. I'm trying to become friends as a solo. Okay, we just saw that guy. Now we saw one on the UAV, but one could be stealthed up, which would be a problem. Operators will mark you as a bounty target. Get our reload off. I need to go and throw this up through that window. That's for our mission. Okay, at this point he's playing, which will attract players, so I'm actually going to pick him up. Because if I don't, since you can no longer cancel, please going to attract everyone to my area, which is what I do not want. I hear a bomb drone. I'm running. What happens to him is not part of my plan today. It is not part of my plan. I'm sorry, buddy, but it's a Sheikah Island and it's ruthless. 
Unfortunately, it looks like he has a one-play vest on, so he came in with essentially no gear. So whether he dies or not, he'll be fine. Another Team X villain. That's weird on a Sheikah Island, I would say. That makes me think that there's a team baiting that x -fill. And if that's the case, we're not going there. Two x -fill callings. I just don't really feel like people get on a Sheikah to x -fill within the first few minutes. That doesn't, that doesn't seem right to me. Ultra one, enemy threat is low in the area. That doesn't seem right. We're gonna go over here. I don't have all the air left on my mask. We're gonna go ahead and actually stow it. If it would allow me to. Okay. I don't know, I don't know why it wouldn't allow me to stow it. It's a little weird. I'm gonna stow it for when we need it. Okay, airstrike's happening right there. That's right. Yeah, that's definitely a player airstrike. One thing uh, for you guys to know to know if it's a real airstrike versus like this one over here that's probably a fake one is that um we're not fake per se but you know ai driven airstrikes or cluster strikes is that a cluster strike that only happens like in one burst is done by ai but if it's done by players it's going to be in three bursts so keep that in mind why don't i just i saw something out here in the water there's something out there there's close. Ultra One, your squad is separated. Suggest you stick together. I do see player. I do see players out here. Why would there be players way out here? Oh, you see two jet skis out there in the player. I don't know why, but we're gonna keep on moving. We don't want to have uh, anything to do with that. And it looks like Yellow survived, so good for him. He's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. We're gonna keep it that way. I'm really trying to figure out why they're in. I, like, I have a feeling he has a spotter scope. I have a feeling. It's unfortunate, my mask is definitely gonna break in this process. I think what I may do before x is, like I said, I do have some side missions where I need to get things like vases um, and a Sheikah liquor. I think what we're going to do is we're going to stop this boat, kind of loot it up, burn a little bit more time. Ultra one enemy threat appears low in your area. Oh. Gotta be careful. Oh. Where's that going? I'm going to have to catch air here soon. I might have to kill this guy. Where's he going? Is he going to the boat? Enemy boat mark. No, he's not. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Keep our eyes peeled. There's our broken mask, unfortunately. I'm gonna check this boat out. See what we can get here. Oh, beautiful. Ultra oh. One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Nobody near me or they're stealthed up. The Sheikah mask. I feel like I'm also in need of those, so we're gonna pick it up just in case. Ultra One, activity has increased in the area. Keep your eyes open. Okay, nothing there. Something else also, you guys, as a solo on a Sheikah. Um, I find that sometimes waiting for final exfil can also be a really safe method um, for getting out successfully. Which we may or may not do. It just kind of depends on how we feel. Okay, so there's a player here. I noticed that last second. That was actually a solid dot or a hollow dot. Look at all the planes. We love our plates. Some documents, not any of those. Hostile enforced UAVs active. Okay. So somebody got their hands on a store for advanced UAVs, most likely. Okay, now that we no longer need the decoy, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. 
So we threw the decoy in the safe house, as you saw, and we extracted the intel off the hunting guard. Fortunately, the first guard I killed had that intel, but that's not always going to be the case. Sometimes you're going to have to kill a few of those AI to try to get what you need. Looks like my teammate is putting in some work. Now let's see where that's at. Okay, so he's still over here. Uh, something else I just noticed. Uh, again, using the map to your knowledge, I noticed that this has been... Um, Brunken, like the radius, and that means that the boss has been killed. So somebody is in that tower, most likely. So that's something to just kind of keep our eyes on and be aware of. Still looking like our primary exfil, the safest one for us is going to be over here. That's my guess. Hmm. Looks like that player that's out there in the water is probably gone. Here, and we're gonna work our way towards this next film. Just get pings um, out of our way. Sometimes pings really interrupt in the middle of fights, they really block your vision. Okay, so it looks like we've found some players under our team. Now, keep in mind, this is a pure solo run. As I mentioned earlier, I only picked that player up because you cannot cancel please. And because you cannot cancel please, I did not want players swarming around me due to that plea notification being put up. Um, I do think, personally, they should bring back the ability to cancel please. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below because, you know, maybe you guys like it. You Maybe you guys like the fact that you can't cancel please anymore. The benefit of not being able to cancel please anymore is that you know obviously you'll always have a chance of being picked back up you know if you're the one uh doing the pleading the downside is is that obviously because you can't cancel their pleas whenever pleas do happen on the map it really attracts a lot of attention and you can't dismiss that attention without bringing them onto your team or hoping that they leave so you know there's pros and cons to it um, i'm still okay with either but i'd like to know what you guys think about it Now, I wouldn't say this is the best exfil in the world, but not the worst. All the Sheikah Island exfils are kind of sketchy, to say the least. Our teammates are really fighting over here at this exfil. Uh, one actually died, which is like I said, I felt like somebody might be exfil camping over there, just for the simple fact that the exfil got popped twice, and um, you know, it just seemed a little odd for the Sheikah. About extra twice like that. Ultra one, be advised. Threat level is high in this AO. Expect contact. Trophy system in here. Oh, never mind. It's just a stationary one. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this right here. This does show up on the map, which I'm not the biggest fan of, um, but it's just gonna help me. You know, if somebody pushes me, that thing could come in really clutch. I don't really have the greatest holding positions from here. If any players are going to come, I imagine they'll come from Suki Castle where that weapon case has been dropped. So we're just going to kind of hold this direction right now. I have an airstrike in case things get nasty. Oh. That makes me think players are coming from that direction. Alright, let's get up in there. And we are looking good to go. That's how you do it, guys. That's the simple way to, you know, stay very stealthy, um, you know, play very reserved. And, you know, focus on getting those missions done. Missions first, you know, and then I also work on, you know, upgrades second, getting things like, you know, my masks, my vases, my Ashika liquor, things like that. Um, so I hope this helped you guys. And next, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the build. So for this TAC-56 build, we run the 60 round magazine. Then we move on to the F-TAC Ripper, doing 0.44 into recoil stabilization and 0.22 towards aim walking speed. Now you might wonder right here, why aim walking speed and not aiming idle stability? Well, normally I would go aiming idle stability as that does help towards recoil. But if you take a look at the graph right here and you move it over towards aiming idle stability, the accuracy is actually not increasing whatsoever. Now, I don't know if that's a bug or not because sometimes these graphs lie, but let's just say that it's being honest. If it is being 
honest, what we're gonna do is we'd move towards aim walking speed as it's not hurting accuracy whatsoever, but giving us the benefit of aim walking speed. Next, we move on to the Echoless 80, which we then tune 1.6 towards recoil smoothness and 0.48 towards aiming idle stability. Then to the 17.5 Tundra Pro Barrel, which we do 0.15 towards recoil steadiness and 0.09 towards damage range. And lastly, we have the AIMOP V4, a very popular optic at 1.06 towards ADS speed and 1.65 towards far. Now, some of you might wonder, you know, why does everyone use the AIMOP V4? I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly why that is. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch this to another DMZ fan favorite and for good reasons, and that would be the SZ Holotherm. Now I'm gonna go ahead, tune this towards far and move this towards ADS speed right about here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the firing range. Now, if we go into the firing range, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into this corner right here, okay? Just so that it's the same spot every time. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this farthest target and I'm gonna go and try and recoil control and, you know, beam this target down. Now, success, and this optic is very good. But the one thing that you need to pay note of is how much shake you're seeing on your screen you know you see the reticle literally kick all the way up you know above the target's head now if we go ahead and we go back to the aim op what you're going to see is what they refer to as less visual recoil which is a long way of saying that you basically have less recoil with this optic so we go back into the firing range we're going to go into this corner right here we're going to aim at the furthest target now take a look at this look how little of recoil this optic has the thing about this game is that the higher zoom that you have on an optic the more recoil or the more that the recoil is going to be intensified visually making it harder to aim um, in some cases at really long distance targets so you know you do with that what you will i at least want to explain to you guys you know why some people use something like the aim op over the holotherm when you think you know the holotherm has better zoom and has thermal why wouldn't you use it over it well this is exactly why anyways hope you guys appreciate this type of content make sure to like comment subscribe it really helps you guys you know please don't forget and i will catch you guys next time later